Well, hey, hey, welcome to the Photo Report. I'm here with Phil Chester. Hello. And we're on a field trip, which is a blast. Yeah. Um, but you've been teaching classes, and can you just start out just a little bit? What is it that you do? Uh, yeah, I'm a wedding photographer. This is year five full time, uh, shooting weddings. And yeah, my big thing is just shooting two people that are in love. Yeah. How did you end up getting into wedding photography? Uh, long story short, yeah. um, I went to music school, uh -huh. dropped out, because I didn't know how to do college. <laughs> it's too hard. Yeah. Uh, I got overwhelmed with that. Um, and then I joined the army really impulsively. Got into photography when I was deployed in Afghanistan. Got even more into it when I was in Iraq. Got out of the army, tried to go back to school, dropped out again, and then just the kind of natural progression of shooting things like model mayhem shit to yeah. like, can I pass on this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, and just trying to explore different things in photography. And I think I saw just one day scrolling on the internet, like some beautiful wedding photos. I was like, maybe I'll try that. And then I just kind of got hooked with shooting the emotion of two people together. So. Yeah. Yeah. And that was like 2009, just trying out, and then 2012 going full time. Yeah. And so with the work that I've seen of yours, you seem to be able to shoot very intimately. Um, what do you feel like are things that have enable you to do that or allow you to do that um, with couples? Yeah, I think like the biggest thing is like noticing like like intimacy thing, that whole thing is like, oh, it's just like people that are naked or like, oh, they're like really, really close. But it's more, uh, what's enabled me to do it is just seeing like a lack of connection in work. And it's really easy to put two people, uh, you know, like far away in the distance instead of a pretty backdrop, but like lacking the emotional connection between two people. So like doing that, I started to look at like, okay, what are the factors that, that make people connect? And starting to break that down. It's like, okay, maybe it's that uh, the photo session itself seems like a photo session and doesn't seem like a reason for them to actually connect. So I try to, on like when I shoot two people together, is remind them of like the actual reason that they hired me to shoot photos, and that's because they've like come together to this point in their lives where they said, yeah, there's nobody else in the world that I want to meet. That's you. You're the one I'm in love with. I feel like I'm telling you that I love you now. <laughs> and and just and just and just changing that mind the mindset of like oh, I am having my photo taken to, no, I'm spending a day somewhere beautiful with like the person I love. Yeah. And just getting that and just through that kind of noticing, um, knowing what I'm looking for and knowing what that feels like um, to, to have those emotions and then just being aware of it in front of the camera. So flipping the mind to think like, you know, this is why we're doing it. Yeah. And what is it that you feel like you typically are looking for in a photo or an emotion? Um, just two people that are completely lost in each other. It's hard to explain and yeah. easier to show. Yeah. Um, something that doesn't feel like uh, something I told them to do and more thing, something that happened organically. There's a kind of like sigh that people have when they relax into each other. And um, it's hard to explain. It's just something that you feel when you look at two people together. If you ever walk down the street and say like, oh, look at those two people are like madly in love. They're just in their own world. Yeah. Um, and it's not something like compositional wise. It's not like a depth thing. It's not the actual people in it. It's just something you kind of sense from seeing two people that are just like insane for each other yeah what are what are things you feel like you've done specifically for your brand that have really allowed you to have your voice shine through um i think just like for me it's just like i'm i keep trying to push the envelope with what like the, the comfort zone there's a comfort zone in wedding photography there's a level of safeness yeah there's a safe distance and a border that's not necessarily crossed and i think a couple of years ago i started shooting people in their homes and shooting people i had this one session three years ago where i i wanted the uh, yoko ono john lennon session of that annie lee woods shot where they're just like, you know, he's naked and curled up with her in bed. I saw that photo and these, I had a chance to shoot these two photographers. I was like, let's do something like that. Maybe just like, I'll shoot you guys waking up together. They're like, how do we, how do you guys spend their mornings? Like, well, we sleep in. And uh, I was like, okay, stop, we'll shoot that. I'll shoot you guys waking yeah. up. And doing so, I was like, oh, this is amazing to shoot in the home that they're living and building their lives together. And there's, it's something so much more intimate about that as opposed to, and I, don't get me wrong, I love shooting in nature and beautiful places, but starting to hone in on more of that, which has, there's more connection and more personality in, in someone's home and then stripping down the walls of like, oh, there's a mountain in the background. It's like, no, this is just them on a bed. Yeah. If that makes sense. Totally. <laughs> I, I mean, I feel like a lot of photographers look at what everyone else is doing and sort of feel like you have to do that, which doesn't really give you a space to actually figure out what it is that gets you excited to shoot. Yeah. Um, do you feel like that was a struggle for you and you sort of came to it or just have you always 
been doing what you want to do. No, like, yeah, the first couple of years, I just, there's the progression. I talked about this here at Field Trip. Yeah. And there's like, you, there's, you're never where you want to be. And there's like, there's always a struggle and, and it's something I'm trying to perfect. And it's like, it's still missing something. It's still missing more. How do I do this more consistently? And how do I do this with even more feeling attached? Mm-hmm. Starting out, you're like, okay, I want to go full time. Cool, check that off. What's the next thing? I want to shoot a, a cool wedding in nature. And then you do that and that high lasts for like five minutes. And then that's done. Right. And I was like, cool, maybe I'll get, I want to get featured on like a wedding blog. And I it was on green wedding shoes. Yeah. It was like pinnacle of my right. life. <laughs> it was just the best thing that ever happened to yeah. me. Um, and then that lasts for like five minutes. So then it was more built out of frustration of like, how do I act, how do I start yeah. enjoying my images and, yeah. and less and not so much like relying on outside feedback for it. Yeah. And it's, it's in those off season months where it's, you know, December through February, it's just that kind of reset. Like, how do I, how do I close that gap of, Mm -hmm. of making my photos have more feeling attached to them? So it's, it's something that like, it's the first couple of years, like I, I didn't even know I wanted that. Right. And then when you get those basic things down, like going full time or going, uh, you know, any of your goals, there's always something next level. So yeah. it's something I'm not even happy with yet. Yeah. How do you, have you defined success for yourself? Like, what does that look like for you? Is career, life, balance, that sort of thing? Um, recently I've been having that kind of deep discussion with my friends and yeah. it's like, we get caught up in the wedding world and we get caught up in the photography world of needing external you know, uh, gratification through Instagram, social media, and there's like, because, but that stuff is just so superficial. And I, I'm realizing more and more that the happiness that my main goal for life is just to like surround myself with amazing people and constantly try new things and, and build up a relationship with actual human beings. Yeah. And then photography, realizing that I don't need photography to be the thing that makes me happy yeah. is like the biggest thing recently I've been thinking about. Photography is awesome. Mm-hmm. It's an awesome job and it's an awesome way to express emotion. And I, I'm addicted to shooting you know, a crazy connection between two people. That's yeah. awesome. But I don't need that to be happy. Yeah. And just realizing that surrounding myself with amazing human beings, uh, an amazing girlfriend, and just that, that's actually what I need. Yeah. Photography just is an extra little additive into life. So, yeah, I mean, it's, that's a huge realization because I think I was having edited an interview with these, um, twin sisters that are designers, but getting to that point of realizing that it's just a job, you know, it's like, are we, I think so much of our culture lives to work, you know, and it's like striving after the success that's this unreachable and mm-hmm. able thing. And you sort of miss out on like, what's actually like, yeah. that's just actually a job, you know, yeah. like what's important is the girlfriend and the, mm-hmm. uh, you know, that sort of stuff. But, um, amazing where, so if people want to find your work and any of that sort of stuff, where do they find it? Yeah. It's just my name on the internet, just Phil Chester on Instagram, philchester.com. Uh, yeah, that's it. Just type in my name into the dark web and you'll find me. Yeah. Beautiful. Last question mm-hmm. would be, um, do you do any personal projects outside of shooting couples or does that, do you just view that as your own personal work? I mean, now I'm, my personal project is trying to shoot the same thing, like getting more intimate with couples and shooting in a more way that doesn't feel contrived. That's more natural. Trying to hone in that. That's my, where my passion is going right now, but also trying to do it on shooting out more in film. Hmm. Um, just I love the aesthetic of film and when those and one out of like five one foot out of five rolls turns out like, yeah. Shit, this is pretty good so trying to explore more shooting with film but just uh, no actual like side project yet just kind of honing in on that yeah sometimes bringing in just a different tool to the system yeah. ends up just making it fun again yeah absolutely rad well thanks Tons thanks man and, appreciate uh, it yeah alright sounds good thanks how do you do <laughs> <laughs> good you get job it?